pay attention to the details of the graphics. It's really clear, and the sounds coming from the game sounds terrific. Let me turn it up. Now the size of this tablet makes it terrific when handling. Easy to maneuver. Real cool. Okay. So this is really well made. Another thing I would like to compliment on. Now let's get back. Let's talk about performance. Many people like myself like to know how much I'm paying for a tablet and what kind of performance to expect from a tablet with this price. I've downloaded a performance benchmark app that compares the performance of the tablet I'm using with other tablets. And it was a surprise. I'll pull it out and show it to you. As you can see, Miss, which is right here, it's ranked number two just behind HTC One. And the Samsung tablets and your Motorola, your Asus, all fall behind in performance. I'll, just to show you how well this tablet performs, I'll quickly pull another performance benchmark app just for comparison. Now this app evaluates the tablet's web browser performance, which is um, this one right here. And this one measures the CPU subsystem performance of the tablet. But since we've already seen the results of the CPU performance earlier, let's just evaluate the tablet's web browser performance. As you can see, the tablet's browsing speed is just below Samsung Galaxy S3 and the HTC which is very fair, its browsing speed is top notch. So, now here's another th fancy thing I want to uh, show you about this tablet. It's called the multi-touch test. You see the circle lights when I tap on it? This shows that the tablet has 10 multi-touch technology. So what this means is that Mist has rapid touch response, so it allows users to easily maneuver the tablet. Now, since Mist uses an Android operating system, any apps or movies you wanna buy will be done with the Play Store. This is the Play Store. Um, everything is organized, very nice. Um, if you've used this before, you should know how well this is. Now back to the desktop. You can see right here, Google Chrome is the default browser because after 4.0.4, Google Chrome has become the default browser for all operating system. Okay, let's discuss a little bit about the camera. The rear camera, camera which is what you're looking at right now, uses 500, 5 megapixel HD camera. So it's actually very clear. It has autofocus when you take a picture. And then right here, you can choose to zoom in, zoom out, and then you have the rear camera, a front camera feature, and also the extra settings. Right here, you can choose from flash, your white balance, exposure, scene mode, and your extra settings. It's a pretty de decent camera, can't complain, and it has almost all the function you would expect from a real camera. And right here, we have the video camera mode. So this is the video camera mode. It's almost the same with the camera. You have your zoom in and zoom out option, your reverse camera option, and tap on this for your special settings. And then once again, you have your flash, your white balance, your effects, the time-lapse interval, your video quality, 
and some extra settings. Now I'll record something and show you how it looks. And so far the quality of this camera is pretty decent. All right, here I'll show you. Okay, you know how some people take pictures and they like to edit them. And the way they usually do this is probably copy the file to their PC and use Photoshop or some photo edit editing program. I know that there are some apps you can download that has the same function, but this tablet has one built in. And the editing features are pretty complete. Here, I'll show you. So you can hit edit right here. And then immediate below, there are four main functions. You can adjust. So there are a lot of functions, um, a lot of features. Works just like, um, almost like a Photoshop. It's very nice. Uh, basically you have Photoshop inside your tablet. Okay, now I'll show you where all your files are kept. I gotta say, the developer made it real convenient and organized for its users. It's, it's this one right here. It's called the ES File Explorer. And there you go. Uh, all your photos are right here. I like how they're organized, just like what you expect in the PC. You can also access files from a tablet when you connect it to your PC by using the cable provided in the package. So I've checked out the warranty for this tablet. It comes with a standard one year manufacturer warranty. You can go to bangbanggame.com to purchase it online. I bought mine in Taiwan but was sold out as shortly after. Now this tablet doesn't come with a paper manual but it does have an electronic one built in the tablet. It's very environmental, I'll show you. It's called the Miss Manual, and it has all the information you need to know about the tablet. And finally, I would like to show you guys the tablet's accessory. Now, this is sold separately, like any other tablet stands. And I'm very, very impressed with this. It's called the Miss Cradle. And it's portable, very well designed, functional, and you can actually adjust the angle that fits you. That's one of the things I'm happy about. I've used the iPad stand before, but it's a dead angle. You can't adjust to a viewing angle that suits you. So this stand right here has a port where you can insert the tab tablet in, right here. So once it's on, you can start adjusting the angle that you want, but that's not all. Once you attach the tablet on, the stand actually offers a couple of functions for its users. Okay. So the port right here is for the charger, and then this port right here is for the regular HDMI port. So you can connect your tablet to your TV, watch movies, games, whatever you want. Very cool. Now, when I flip it to the other side, the stand also comes with, a, comes with a USB port, so you can actually directly transfer files in and out of the tablet with a USB, or connect to a keyboard or a mouse. Now, once you remove the tablet, you can close the legs, and it's ready to go. This stand is just so well thought of that it's more than just a stand, it's functional. Gotta give them credit for this. Among all the tablets I've used so far, this one right here is awesome. Compared to other tablets, this one right here has a very fair price, extremely good performance, good screen quality, surround sound feature, and the size is just perfect. Definitely the one to consider if you're looking for a tablet. Well, thanks for listening everyone, goodbye.